what's up guys Beagler Outdoors here so I'm making this video I, I kind of want to discuss what's going on in the hunting community and the way that you know outdoors channels are, are kind of just disappearing and and what the situation is so I'm gonna make this video to let you know the situation on the outdoor channels as it stands today on the YouTube platform okay so I'm just gonna get my um, phone up here so I can read you some things uh, see if I could pull it up so if a lot of you guys notice a lot of these outdoor channels are gone and you see them one day and the next day they're gone and you're kind of wondering well where are these channels going well the problem is uh, th this platform YouTube has community guidelines okay and I'm gonna give you some tips of how to keep your hunting channel successful and things not to do because I was kind of wondering, you know, I'd upload a video and I'm like, man, what the heck's going on? You know, it's what happens is when you're a YouTube creator, once you have a certain amount of subscribers, you get paid for the ads. Okay. And trust me, it's a minuscule amount. It's like for every million views, you get a couple of cents. Okay. And you got to think, I, I don't get a million views. So you can go figure there how much money I'm making on it. But with that said, um, for me, it's not about the money. It's about the community. It's about showing you guys how to hunt and do stuff like that. Yeah, it's always cool to get a couple of cents. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Or maybe a couple of dollars. Some of these guys that have, you know, millions of followers, you know, they're making a living on it. And it'd be great to make a living on it, but I don't. I actually have a normal job, and this right here is my hobby, okay? So I I'm going to get into what's going on with the hunting community, okay? So a lot of these channels, you know, you make these videos, and people put them up. You have to really be careful how you put your videos up, okay? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you some stuff, and as I'm reading it, I'm probably going to scroll scroll it up on the screen. So, you know, it's 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 the world we're in right now. There's a lot of people that get upset about things, okay? And you have to realize that hunting has been a part of of life back to American Indians, back to cavemen. I mean, people have to eat, and you also have to realize that you know the food you're eating on your plate that food right there is those animals are killed and slaughtered some really bad you know bad situations how they're done some of these slaughterhouses and as long as you are showing that you are killing your animals harvesting your animals for traditional methods and there's no suffering you should be fine chef just a successful YouTube channel but you know I, I'm gonna go over some of the guidelines I'm gonna go over some of the reasons why okay why you're your hunting stuff got turned down, okay? Or why your channel got, you know, demonetized or whatnot. So I'm gonna try to pull up, okay. If you look at the YouTube guidelines, there's something called violent or graphic content, okay? And when you scroll down to violent or graphic content, uh, it's gonna say, let's see, example, let's see, da, 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 da. okay, uh, okay. There's a section called animal abuse content, okay? And you'll see it scrolling through the screen. Now, you got to remember, YouTube does not want to see massive amounts of blood. They don't want to see animal suffering. They want to make sure that you're hunting in an area where, where everything's legal. So I guess it's to protect themselves. It, it really limits what you can do. And, and when you're doing your videos, remember, you're filming. You can set things up to look a certain way, not because you're being fake, Set it up a certain way for the guidelines, okay? Now, one of the main things you can't have, and this really has nothing to do with hunting, but if you read the animal abuse content, it says content where animals are encouraged or coerced to fight by humans. So obviously, it has nothing to do with hunting, but you know, any kind of dog fighting or chicken fighting or rooster fighting. Don't even do that stuff. Don't even talk about that stuff. It's, it's going to get done. And it, it, like I said, it's not about the money. It's about your channel being deleted. So all the work you put in, like when I do a video, I'm telling you, my videos, it's from filming it, it can take a day, two days of constant work. And to get it shut down and then your channel, it sucks. Especially if your channel is made to help people and you enjoy what you do. Now, if you're doing it for money, yeah, you're screwed. If you, make, if you do it for a living, oh yeah, you're real screwed. A lot of these channels... Um, that have had hunting stuff had went to had to delete hundreds and hundreds of videos because they were scared of getting their channel taken down. If you make a living on it, I don't. So whatever. Um, so the next thing that it says you can't have on your hunting channel content 
that includes includes a human maliciously causing an animal to experience suffering when not for traditional or standard purposes such as hunting or food preparation. So hunting and food preparation are traditional standards, but you can't show your animal suffering. So a lot of times you, you don't want a close up of the kill shot, okay? Do not put a close up of, of the kill shot. You can do it from far away, but if you're showing that bullet go in and the blood fly out the back, they might consider that suffering. Now, if your animal is there, and I've noticed this for a fact, I do a lot of hog hunting, and I had a lot of hog hunting videos where, and I'll, I'll put links in the bottom of hog hunting videos, where, you know, you shoot a hog, they just sit there and they just start kind of shake. That, to them, is considered suffering. So you cannot put that stuff in the video, okay? They do not want to see that, all right? So with the suffering stuff, okay? Um, you, you don't want a lot of blood. So when you walk up to your animal, try to walk up to your animal first, okay? Flip that animal over and then cover the blood and then walk back and start filming, okay? Yes, it is kind of a way of acting, but you're still walking up to your deer, but you have to do this to go by the YouTube guidelines. So flip your animal over, then continue your video. Oh yeah, we found the animal, here it is. Uh, it's flipped over, uh, don't even say it's flipped over, just say, oh, here it is, blah, 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 blah. There it is. Also, you, you, you don't wanna show the skinning and processing because that is considered gore and they do not wanna see that. So you might wanna, some guys, turn your video to black and white so you don't see the blood. I haven't tried that, but you, you can do that too. But you wanna make sure you don't show the skinning of it, okay? You don't wanna like, you know, take your animal off, off the tailgate and slam them to the ground. That is suffering the animal. You wanna pick them up, put them down calmly. I'm just telling you what works for me, man, because I have videos that have, and the messed up part is that YouTube will make it limited ads. So guess what that means, okay? They're not gonna pay you for the ad, but they're still gonna put ads. They're gonna make the money, and they're not gonna give you your part. That is jacked up. So you got to be careful. You know, when you're monetized, you'll know you'll either have full monetization, limited, or none. Uh, when you have none, it's even worse because no monetization means that monetization means that they're going to put video uh, commercials in your video and you're not going to get paid for it. So you, you're busting ads for them and they're saying, well, we're not going to pay you for the ads, but we're going to put ads and we're going to make money, but you're not going to get no money. So just remember that. And that's more to the guys that are monetized and making money on YouTube, okay? Um, most of you guys will know about the X, the red X, or the green dollar sign, or the yellow dollar sign. Green dollar sign means you're making money on your videos. Yellow dollar sign means you're making limited. So heck, you have no idea if you're even going to pay for anything for an, an X or nothing. You're not getting paid nothing. But YouTube is still making money on those advertisements. So be very careful, okay? Um, you want to make sure that processing, you don't want to show the processing of the meat because they just, that's just how it is. You know, that's why I created my form. So you can put that kind of stuff on there and you don't have to worry about nothing. But you know, you don't want to do the processing, the blood. They don't want to see that. You know, like me, I'll put it in the cooler. And now a lot of these catch cook videos, no, they're all getting shot down because people are catching, like for instance, fish, they'll catch a fish, they'll show it with the hook in its mouth. Oh, the, the fish is suffering. Then you cut it up. Oh, it's gore. Then there's blood. Then you're eating it, so it's 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 a it's a thin line with the catch cook stuff like that. And now, it, like I said, if you're not if you're not um, monetized, it's cool, so you just won't get paid. But here's the problem: they can delete your channel. That sucks because all your work in your channel gone. It's just you'll get an email from them and they'll say, "Hey, you're not getting paid. We don't care, and we're not going to tell you why." So you just get an email saying, "Uh, your channel's taken down." That's it. Can't talk to nobody. It's a, you got to remember you, you're on a private platform. They make their own rules, okay? So, like I said, when you're doing your hunting videos, make sure you don't have a close shot of the kill, okay? Definitely, definitely don't show a shot where you have your bullet going in and blood flying out the back. Number one. Number two, if your animal falls on the floor and you get a crappy hit and he's moving around squirming, that's suffering. Via the guidelines here, you don't want to show that either, okay? Um, when you walk up to your animal. Try to go first, flip them over, don't have a bloodbath everywhere because that, that's gore. They don't want to see that. So, you know, if you follow those steps, you'll have a successful hunting channel. And I've learned from my mistakes. A lot of my videos became limited limited uh, monetization. So I went back and watched them. And I said, okay, why? For instance, I did a video on everyday carry. Limited ads. So I wanted to know why. Well, here's the reason why. In the video, and you look at the bombs, every my everyday carry video, and I'll put it up here. I was showing the um, 380, and I don't. 
they didn't tell me this is why, but I know this is why. And when I put the laser on, I took the laser and I said, hey guys, this is the laser. And I pointed towards the camera. Okay, right off the bat, that is unsafe handling of a firearm. You're, you can never, ever, 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 ever point a firearm at the camera because that is unsafe. So I went and scratched my head thinking, what's going on? Well, I watched the video, watched the video. Just because I wanted to show people how the laser was with an empty mag, okay? No ads. Demonetized. Pretty much. So you got to remember that. And then I was wondering, you know, why are my hog hunting videos getting shut down? All right. So I went back and looked at him. And one of the videos got shut down because when I shot the hog, he was on the ground squirming around, which is showing suffering. So you can't show that stuff. Okay. Then I had another video. I'm like, okay, I shot this thing. He dropped right there. What's the problem? Well, what I did was I took the hogs. I put them on the tailgate. And you could see open wounds with blood. And you could see where they got hit. I mean, I hit them with a 6.5 Grendel and I jacked them up. But that open wound showing the internals, that is considered gore. So that's what you have to watch out with too. So, and that is why that got uh, limited ads. And, you know, it might get deleted someday. But if you guys look at the guidelines and then really go back and watch your whole video, it's just that one second where you show something that violates the guidelines, you're not going to get paid. Okay. Or for people that aren't uh, monetized yet, which me, I'm, I'm slightly monetized. I don't make enough money to even buy a meal for my wife with the money I make. Um, because I don't, I, you know, like I said, it's a cup, a couple of cents per thousand clicks and stuff like that. And if you look at a video and it says, okay, uh, you have 200 views. Uh, yeah, you think it's, it, it, it's, it's clicks per million. So you look at my views, you look at my whole channel and you look at the clicks. Is there a million clicks on the whole channel? So just so you can get an idea how monetization works. But the, the, the bottom line is that it, it, it's mainly losing your channel, everything you've worked for and, and, and losing it all. You don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put a link in the bottom to the community guidelines. Scroll down uh, and you want to go to the section that says uh, abuse or animal content, which uh, I can't get it on the screen, but I, I'm gonna put it, uh, a picture of it right here so you could see that. And that is what you have to follow to have a successful outdoors channel, okay? I've noticed following those guidelines, I just did a video where I killed a five point, I harvested a five point, and I'll put the link to it right here. It's doing fine, okay? It's not throttled down. It's doing fine. It's really, it's video is doing pretty well. Okay. Follow those guidelines and that will be how you will be safe. You know, with your venture to YouTube, you have to remember, you got to follow their guidelines. And if you get a, you know, a, a video taken down, go back and look at it and see what's in it. I literally went back, checked my videos. Okay. And I seen what was in there and there's a little section of each video that violates the guidelines and you need to get familiar with the YouTube guidelines. Okay. The community guidelines. And it really opened up my eyes of what to do and what not to do. Cause you got to realize you make this whole giant video. You're so proud. Next thing you know, it's gone. Do it a couple times. Your channel is gone. You don't want that to happen. So I really hope that this video helped you guys out with your outdoors channels and your ventures. Good luck keep hunting it's your right just make sure you do things correctly also with the firearms videos do not even show how to put one together read the firearm section which i'll put uh right here uh if you read the firearm section it tells you definitely cannot put any kind of building any kind of trigger work anything any anything like it says it says it clear there you cannot do it so don't be surprised if, if it, the video gets taken down read the guidelines it's very important so if you want to have a successful gun channel which gun channels are like it's hard to even have a gun channel these days but if you want to have a successful outdoors channel a successful hunting channel read the youtube guidelines okay we might not agree with them it is a free country i agree on that but you are posting on a platform that is private with their own rules that's how it works you go into win dixie and when dixie says hey you have to wear a pink hat to come in here Hey, guess what? You're going to have to wear that pink hat. It's a private company saying to use our private facility, you have to do this. That's just how it is. You want people to come into your house, like our house. Take off your shoes when you walk in the house or you're not coming in. What are you going to do? Say, I'm not taking off my shoes. And I'm like, well, you're not coming in my house. My house, 
our house, me and my wife, prior property, our rules. If you don't like it, leave because it's private. Now, if we're in a park, if we're having a party, and I tell people, hey, uh, everyone at this party has to have a camouflage shirt. I can't tell you that. It's a public area. You do whatever you want. So just remember, private sector versus public sector, rules accordingly. All right? I really hope this video has helped you guys out. Uh, any questions, you can shoot me an email at the bottom, beaglerouters.com, uh, beaglerouters at gmail.com. Check out our form, beaglerouters.com. Go and register. When you register, shoot me an email. I will approve you. Uh, once again, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Beagler Outdoors, out.